Hi, in this video, we're going to look at how to prove a quad is a rectangle. We have a four sided figure ABCD with coordinates. Now, for us to prove that this figure is a rectangle, we need to do two things. Firstly, we need to prove that it is a parallelogram. And secondly, we need to prove that it has a right angle. So let's start with the first part. How do we prove that this shape is a parallelogram? Well, from the previous video, we noted that if we find the midpoints of the diagonals, and if they are the same, then it will be a parallelogram. So let us find the midpoint of diagonal AC. We're using the midpoint formula, x1 plus x2 all over 2, y1 plus y2 all over 2. So using the formula, we have minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2, 6 minus 3 divided by 2. And that gives us minus 1 plus 1 is 0, divided by 2 is 0. 6 minus 3 would give us 3 over 2, giving you 1 and a half. Let us now find the midpoint of diagonal BD. So to do that, we're going to use the same midpoint formula. We have 3 minus 3 divided by 2, 5 minus 2 divided by 2. Remember, 3 minus 3 is 0 over 2, which gives you 0. 5 minus 2 is 3 over 2, which is 1 and a half. You'll notice the midpoints are the same. So the midpoint of AC is equal to the midpoint of BD. Conclusion, ABCD is a parallelogram. And the reason is diagonals bisect each other. So we've done that, the first part. We now want to prove that it has a right angle. So we're going to prove angle A is 90. To do that, we know that if the product of the gradients of two lines, if the product is minus 1, then we can conclude that AB is perpendicular to AD. So we're going to find the gradient of AD. The gradient of AD, we're going to use the gradient formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And if we use the formula, we have 6 minus minus 2, which is 6 plus 2, minus 1 minus minus 3, which is minus 1 plus 3. And that gives us 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. We're now going to find the gradient of AB. So finding the gradient of AB, we're going to use the same gradient formula. We have 6 minus 5, and we have minus 1 minus 3. 6 minus 5 is 1 over negative 4. Now when we multiply these gradients out, 4 times minus 1 quarter is minus 1. So because the product of the gradients is minus 1, we can conclude that AD is perpendicular to AB. In other words, they cut at 90 degrees. And now we can conclude that ABCD is a rectangle. We've proven that it is a palm, and we proved that angle A is 90. Now, there are other ways of proving a quad, a rectangle. Another way we could have used is, we could have proved it's a palm, like what we've done, and instead of proving a right angle, we could have found the length of the diagonals AC and BD. And if the length of the diagonals are equal, then we can conclude that this is a rectangle. Because in a rectangle, the diagonals are equal. Thank you.